faking beef for promo. Gunner not a rat, but he still ratted. We got two videos in one. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Hit the like button right now and subscribe to the channel if you ain't subscribed. I said hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Y'all already know it. The uh, 608 mark that will be the gunner video. Right now we on this video. Uh, I'm here to tell y'all that Nicki Minaj, Offset, Cardi B, Kenneth Petty, all frauds. Um, I've had the opportunity ever since I went on DJ Academics platform to talk to some industry guys. And I'm here to tell y'all that all of this commotion that they stirred was for promotion. Um, the promotion started off with Offset going to Casanet. You got the whole Twitch following over there. Then from Casanet, you got Cardi B about to drop an album. You got Nicki Minaj. Offset is also dropping the album. All these albums is dropping within the next 60 days. So what they're doing is, yes, Nicki and Cardi had, you know, differences. But their, their teams and their record labels found a way to use their differences to benefit both of them out of promotion. And every time they get into it, it's either album coming or announcement coming or something like that. And I'm just here to tell y'all, don't be fooled by what y'all think y'all see. Um... Kenneth Petty or Offset have no problems. I even believe this is their idea. Um, out of all the times Offset could have went on Casanet, he chose to right before all their albums was about to drop. Fine. Casanet in on this too. You know, you one of the biggest Twitch streams, bro. We need that. You feel what I'm saying? You go on Casanet, that's promo. Nikki, Cardi, both of them got albums coming. Before the end of this year. Soon, soon. As y'all can see by the stamps. Offset album coming. Which way to promote our albums? Let's keep our feud going on. Once again, I told y'all before. Cardi B and Offset are the type. They will use the cheating allegations in their benefit. Notice how the cheating allegations came back up. Because of what Offset said on the Twitch stream. With Kai man. I'm telling y'all right now, it's bogus. It's not real. I'm stamping it. Um, the people that I talk to, they have to show me proof they know these people. I'm not just no send-off. Y'all know me, man. I have to know proof. And from what I'm seeing and what I was shown, Cardi B and Nicki Minaj, yeah, they may not like each other, but they are in cahoots. Their labels know it and their marketing teams know it. Also, Cardi B and, and um, um, Nicki Minaj also use Lotto and, 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 and Ice Spice in the same exact way. Um, long as we both got the youth, we our names are always trend. Ice Spice and Cardi and um, Lotto, they don't dislike each other neither, man. All this be promotion, marketing stunts, and y'all fall for it. Now, I'm going to speak on, a lot of people was DMing me talking about the men, so we're going to treat it as if it was real. That's what men do when you from the hood. Men jump in women beef all the time. In fact, I'm sorry. If your girl beefing with my girl, where your nigga at? Where she at? And you lucky we don't whoop on you together. Because this my girl. Not only is this my girl, this my wife. Don't forget both parties. This my wife. And I'm hearing a whole bunch of non-married people who claim they from the hood. All y'all that's in my DM saying, all right, this what goes down in the hood. Do y'all respect these dudes or not? Offset got the hood image, Kitty Petty from the hood. They gonna act hood. That's what go on. We can't be shot when it goes on, man. So that's enough about that. And how the albums was will go is it will be Offset album first, which is in less than thirty days. Um, so he go first, then it'll be Nicki in November, and then Cardi in December. So October, November, December. You see what I'm saying? And it will all carry on. Offset gonna come out with his album. Some shots at Kenny Petty in there. Then Nicki gonna come with her album. Some shots at both him, Offset, Ed, Cardi in there. Cardi gonna come with her album. Some shots at, you know, and leave a cliffhanger for them to do it whenever they want to, man. Yeah, man. So uh, when Nicki tweeted, um, let's play a game. I wanna play a game. Y'all have been played. 
And look out for another little spat between all of them. Not now, because there's no reason to do it now. Look out for another little spat before Offset drop his album October 10th from now. So, under 30 days, it's going to be another little spat between them before the, all the albums get to rolling out, man. Also, I got to take time out for my, you know, sponsor, 1212 Beauty, man. The best hair care game products in the world. Everything natural based. Um, I'm rocking with my boy Anthony. They, 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 they fresh out of Baltimore. You know what I mean? No, no, no gimmicks, no gadgets. They came up the natural way. Ain't buy views. Ain't have to do none of that, man. So if y'all use the promotion code AK47 at 1212 BT, everything gonna be on the screen right here. Y'all get 15% off on all hair products they have, everything that they have. I'm telling y'all, y'all can go to the reviews. Best thing, I done got a couple people to buy already. They rocking with it, so... 1212boutique.com. Um, make sure y'all go hit them up on Instagram, Facebook, and they have a YouTube channel and use that promo code. Now let's get it to Gunna and Young Thug's father. So a lot of people been telling me, AK, Young Thug father speaking for Gunna. Young Thug father said he loved Young Thug. Young Thug father said nothing Gunna said can, you know, hurt Young Thug. So he wasn't snitching. Courtney said, how do you feel about Gunner? I love Gunner. See, that's the thing. People don't understand the relationship. They got this thing saying that Gunner's a rat and he's done no. this and done that. No, but no. But see, let, 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 me try to, let me try to help the attorney clarify that a little simpler. Okay. Um, I got two re uh, ways for that. I respect Young Thug's father, all that. I just want to hear it out of Young Thug mouth. That's just me. I'm not keeping nothing going because I don't really speak on it. But since it came, I'm going to speak on it. I'd rather hear it out of Young Thug mouth. And honestly, it's still snitching. Um, Yeah, it's still snitching. A lot of people snitch and their statements get threw out. Do that mean they ain't a snitch no more? A lot of people snitch and it doesn't lead to a guilty verdict. Does that mean they're not a snitch anymore? Um, the bottom of the line is, whether it hurt Young Thug or not, anytime you go in front of that judge and you admit any type of street activity, you you snitch, bro. So when he said, that's why I sell a game, when the judge said it, and Gunner said, yes, ma'am, you're admitting that they're a game. So that's how they could further prosecute others in the future. It's not about Young Thug. They can further prosecute anybody and use your statement because they're going to put your statement. It don't got to be in the case. They're going to put it in documentation of the YSL gang. We have multiple YSL members admitting this again. So any charges further on that any of these dudes might commit, even the ones that ain't in the RICO indictment, we can hit them because we got more proof, more evidence, more voices that snap. These are indeed a game, not a record label. That's a snitch to me. So um, I understand where Young Thug Dad was coming from. I understand business is business. But it still doesn't resolve what he did. Now, he ain't lying about it won't affect because from what I'm hearing, his statement just like um, as long as Gunner don't take testify, his statement don't hurt. Now, if they call Gunner to testify, his statement gonna hurt. It's the same thing with um, YW Melly case. Bortland's statement can't really hurt him, but if they call Bortland to testify, it's gonna hurt him. So he was absolutely right about that, but we're not about to sit here and absolve what Gunna did or what he didn't do. Gunna still corroborated. He still gave information. And you know, that's just that, man. We not about to run from that. We about, not about to do none of that. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, um, Gunner career is still not affected in any way. He's still selling out shows. Um, even though you buying and boosting views, you still have a hardcore fan base that's rocking with you. And you know what I mean? Half of it might be because Thug not free. But um, I don't know, man. Y'all going to let me know in the comments how y'all feel about this, man. Is Gunner a rat or not? Young Thug father spoke and he said, Gunner not a rat. You feel what I'm saying? That's a sticky, dicey situation to y'all, not to me, because it is what it is.